Hello, it's Nessa Tilson here. This is a short video to show how to use Polyboard with SketchUp. Polyboard's a great uh, program for designing and manufacturing furniture, but when you have to present furniture with a bit of detailing, sometimes it's quite useful to be able to add detailing with a CAD program. And one of the CAD programs which is very easy to use in 3D for presentation purposes and which has the advantage of being completely free is SketchUp. So if you need some detailing to be added to your polyboard models, the easiest thing is to export that model uh, in DXF and then put it into SketchUp and add detailing. If you're using the free version of SketchUp, like I am here, you'll have to convert the DXF into a 3DS, 3D Studio format before you can actually get it into SketchUp. But if you're using the paid version, just take the DXF and throw it into SketchUp. Let's show you, I'm going to show you quickly how to add a bit of detailing to a simple cabinet. First thing we're going to do is we're going to just import a cabinet, which is a 3DS file. Uh, the 3DS file I got by taking the DXF and put it into ProjiCAD, and from ProjiCAD I've saved it into a 3D Studio file, which I can just throw into Polyboard, uh, Polyboard into SketchUp. The file comes in straight away, and we can see the cabinet, which is just a very simple cabinet. Uh, it comes in as a component, so one of the easier things to do, one of the best things to do, is just to explode it first. And once exploded, um, we can see that the actual component here. Uh, once exploded, you have to put the component to the right size. Um, if we measure the the the, the, th the import from poly, um, Polyboard, we can see that the actual size here is 11,430 using the meter, uh, the meter rule tool from SketchUp. If we type in now 600, poly, uh, SketchUp will resize the book, the cabinet to 600 wide. So that's a very easy way of just resizing your cabinets. You just throw them in and then you measure a distance that you know and give SketchUp the right size for that distance and SketchUp will just resize your cabinet according to what you put in. Once you've got it in, uh, let's get rid of the door of this cabinet. Let's just get rid of the door by just, um, I'm just going to erase the door parts. We had some edging on it and we had the door itself so let's get rid of that. And here we have the cabinet as it comes in from polyboard resized, got rid of the door and we want to replace this door for instance with a framed uh, door and a raised panel. So I'm just going to quickly draw that into SketchUp and this is going to show you how to use SketchUp to draw a simple raised panel door. I'm going to just draw a rectangle on this part here and let's say that we want to draw a rectangle here and we're going to give it this rectangle a thickness of 30 millimeters. And here we have 30 millimeter door, the, fr the solid block of 30 millimeters to build our door. Let's add a few moldings onto it. So just take the, let's say, add, add a rounded edge, and um, this rounded edge, we're going to use the um, follow me tool to give a rounded edge here. Um, once the rounded edge is done, let's add a little raised section here and let's give a raised section of three millimeters and that is the edge molding around the door around this frame door now let's give the actual let's give the face draw the face with SketchUp of the um, the frame framing let's give it a 60 millimeter width on the edging here we have the framing let's give it a let's, let's push this frame part portion in five mil and let's say now let's draw now the um, molding a molding. Let's give a molding around this frame. So give a molding that is, for instance, 35 millimeters wide. And this molding, let's push the molding down, uh, pushing the molding down into the bit of furniture. Let's push it down 12 mil. So to give a slanted edge on the molding. We've pushed that slanted edge down. Let's give now a five millimeter um, depth towards the panel, and let's now put in the um, 
a raised panel with a slanted edging on it. So let's say that the raised panel is at 45 millimeters from the edge of the framing. This raised panel, let's pull it out to 12 mil. Let's give a squared edge on this of another 12 mil. And let's give a little molding. Let's put a molding, a rounded molding around that square edge with SketchUp. It's very easy. And let's say, let's get zoom in a bit here. Like that. Let's now use the Follow Me tool to put that rounded edge around that panel and give another little raised edge to this panel here, the interior panel. And now we have quite a detailed molded framework, right frame door with a raised panel. Uh, let's just now give this frame door, turn it into a group. The ideal would be to change it into a component so that it can be stored in the library and used on all your cabinets. This I'm just going to quickly change it into the group, SketchUp group, which is actually, which is similar to a comp component, but we can't save it individually. But just so to show you that now we can add a, a material to it, and if we add a material, and we can also add detailing to it, so we can add, for instance, black. Uh, sorry, let's go back there. Let's go back and just change. Let's go outside the component, and let's go into the component and add black edging, for instance, around the around the main frame. We can add black molding. Let's add the black molding here. And let's change the, ang the angle so that we can put black molding here too. And we can change, for instance, give a nicer effect to the inside of the raised panel. We say we have a veneered raised panel with some filleting around it, and that will give us now the raised panel. And this is, you can see how it's very easy to add detailing and quite, you know, get quite nice effects, decorative effects, simply by putting your, your polyboard model into SketchUp and redesigning elements for decorative effects in SketchUp. Um, this is now, this is being a group, it should have been a component, a SketchUp component, which I could have saved and then I could have just put it on other bits of furniture and resized it to fit any bit of furniture that came in from Polyboard. Um, it's a minute, so that's a very easy way of adding detailing and, you know, enhancing your Polyboard models. I hope that's been interesting and I hope to see you again in another video uh, where I can show you how polyboard how we can design different things in polyboard and I'd like to continue showing you how to get the best out of polyboard by using it in conjunction with other software which is very cheap software some of it's free um, some of it costs a small small investment but you can get really nice results out of all of that right thank you very much and goodbye hope to be seeing you soon